Hi, my name is Petra Verbruggen and welcome to this video, which is part of the LU300 video series together with LiveView. In this video, we'll explore the on-device menu of this LiveView unit right here. So let's dig into it. Okay, it is time. It is time to switch on the LU300. This can be done by pressing and holding the power play button, which is located right here. And as the name suggests, the power play button actually has two features. The first one is turning the device on or off, just like you just see right now, and starting or stopping the stream, which is really, really convenient. And now that I have time for it to boot up, I actually can also talk about the other buttons, which is, of course, the first one is the jog right here. And the jog can be used to navigate through a menu like so, and or selecting the option that you are interested in. The last but not least button is, of course, the back button right below, right there. It takes about 30 seconds to load uh, the menu, which is great. It's very fast. Um, in comparison to, for instance, the LU200, uh, which is 90 seconds, this is brilliant. Um, on this OLED display, you see quite a lot of information. So first and foremost, you see if there is a camera connected. This indicator can also mean that maybe your HDMI cable or, S or SDI cable is not really working correctly. Uh, if there is a camera, it will show it and it will also show the resolution of it. Then you see the battery indicator. It has three hours of internal battery, so there's pl plenty of uh, battery life in this device. The operational mode can be seen here, so it says live, but it can also be stored and forwards. More information on a separate video and uh, the delay, which is 1.8 seconds. Um, and we will also show you how that uh, delay is set. The delay is important for the resilience of your uh, connection, but it's also important for at-home productions. Then you'll see the server that is connected to right there and what the status is of the connection. At this moment, it says offline, but in a few seconds, it will pop up to, well, there you go, to ready, which means that it has connection to the internet and you're ready to rock and roll. Um, once you start a stream, then where you see ready, you will also see the bitrate of the stream. Okay, let's go into the menu. So this is the menu that you can operate on the device itself. Uh, you can also do a lot of the things that you can do here also on LiveView Central. Now, here you see uh, quite some information. You have the interfaces, you've got the mode, delay, channels, the files, and the settings. And last but not least, the about. Let's go with the first one. This system can have up to six interfaces. Four 4G networks, one Wi-Fi network, and one Ethernet. And if you click on this, you'll see that at this moment, I only have one connection, which is the Vodafone one right here. But uh, it's also possible to, for instance, uh, select a um, Wi-Fi network. In order to do that, you just click on Show List, select Network, it will scan for the network right now. It will take a few seconds to load, and then you will see all of the Wi-Fi networks in this area. And of course, I'm a Star Wars fan, so you will also see, for instance, Dagobah right there. And if I press on that one, uh, you can fill in the password, right, like so, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, once you're done, you say you had done, and there you have your password, and it will then load it for you. I'm going to go back like this uh, to the main menu. Then we are going to continue with the mode. And I, I just said that there are two modes on this device. The first one is live, which I think is very, very, um, yeah, well, normal to, to understand. But there is also another one, which is store and forward. And store and forward is actually um, needed if you don't have uh, connectivity and you want to have your video done you want to record it on the live view itself the live view lu 300 and once you are in an area where you have coverage again cell coverage then it will automatically forward it to the to your um uh, station 
and uh, you, yeah, basically you're good to go again, which is great. Next up is of course the delay, and the delay is, like I said, is also an indicator of your resilience. So you can imagine that if you go all the way up to 20, you have a very resilient uh, connection, but of course a 20 second delay, which is a lot. And if you go down, you can go all the way down to 0 0.6 seconds. But it also recommends then that you probably would like to have a wired internet connection because there is no room for error for 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. If it's one, then you can use the 4G networks. But for me, I always take 1.4. That's what I do. It doesn't have to be that you are doing it, but that's what I do. Then um, the channel needs to be changed in this case because it's now on Heinen, but it has to go to my own uh, server. So let's go down to my server, right, like so. And it's right there. So I'm clicking on it. So that's my own server, which is great that it's so easy and convenient to get. Next but not least, um, of course, we have files that is very important for storing forward. Uh, settings. Well, Store Forward does need some settings. For instance, you want to set the prefix of the file, but you might also want to set the, the quality. And this is the best quality SP, that's uh, 8 megabits per second, but you can also make it a little bit lower, but I think that 8 is perfect. So I'll take that and uh, the last is the adaptive resolution, which means that the LU300 actually um, changes its bitrate depending on the quality of the cellular network. That is fully automatic at this moment then. And then we have about, which uh, provides information on the name of the, the system, the serial number, the software version, and that kind of information. Well, there you have it, the complete walkthrough of the menu of the LU300. Of course, the, the video feed of the camera when it's connected will be shown on the display together with audio bars to monitor your audio. Most of the features that you saw on the menu will also be available on the LU Central web portal with more features added as well. And, uh, well, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.